alligator arms. Look at him. Actually, I think one's like a, that's a freaking mini T-Rex arm. That's like a Spinosaur arm. Never mind. Oh my God, dude. The Chimera is insane. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Jurassic Survival. Today, we're returning boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully y'all are all having an absolutely fantastic, fantastic day of the most amazing variety. That only keeps on getting better from here on out today. We are back in our favorite Jurassic playground of the mobile survival variety. If you boys and girls are fans of Last Out or Survival, good chance you guys are a fan of this because that's actually where I originally discovered this game back from way back when. In case you guys have not been following with our adventures, make sure to tap on that bubble that just popped up in the top right hand corner of the screen to check out all of our Jurassic survival shenanigans, of which there have been many as we have followed this game on its awesome developmental cycle, minus like the freaking two year hiatus of no updates that happened. But we're back in update game, so it's all good, and we're gonna be checking out the location that was added in the most recent update yet again because today, if all goes well, we're gonna be able to open an entirely new type of crate with all sorts of glorious loot. We are armed to the bloody teeth, lads, and we're ready to go to war with the dinosaurs but yeah man this is without a doubt besides last night on earth been my favorite mobile survival game out there and it's been a lot of y'all's favorites as well from at least what i can tell so if you boys and girls are enjoying this series make sure to smash that like button and let me know in that comment section down below but now we are exploring this destroyed laboratory of alpha it is pretty much the bunker alpha of this game and in it oh we got the teak plank the brand new resource added in this most recent update that is pretty much like the next tier of wood so kind of similar to how we have normal wood in last day on earth teak wood is kind of like the oak wood it's not quite yet oh what's up dead guy lifeguard lifeguard please there are people oh my god who is the lifeguard on duty you are doing an awful job we need to hire more staff. I think that's the moral of the story. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a doorway I gotta open, and, uh, well, it's very loud, and it brings lots of attention. What's up, dinosaurs? It's your time to die. Whoa! Oh, no, don't spit on me. That Dilophosaur over there has a nasty spitting ability that he can take out on us, but uh, the dinosaurs that we're going to be facing inside of this accursed place are a little bit different. They're not pure dinosaurs like what we just encountered. They are these strange hybrids that have been mutated with people in some sort of strange experimentation going on in this laboratory, something that I'm super fascinated to follow up on as this update and whatchamacallit, as Jurassic Survival does continue getting updates. Here there are three things that kind of look interesting as well. Yo! Did someone leave some taquitos in the microwave? No, that microwave's looking pretty empty. Well, dang, I'm a little bit disappointed by that, but I am super excited to see what goes on with this story. This is what I'm talking about, by the way. We are five of these away from unlocking the second crate. We're also gonna be able to unlock the first crate, which we did last time. It had some pretty solid loot, but I wanna see what's within here. And eventually, crossing my fingers that maybe that eventually happens today, we can open up this puppy and see what's within the hardest of all of those. This guy doesn't talk. He's just this dude that freaking guards his workbench over there, but that's a-okay. But like I've said, hopefully you guys are all having an absolutely incredible day of the most amazing variety that only keeps on getting better from here on out, whether that be from this video, bringing you a giggle, bringing a smile to your face, or anything else going on in the wonderful lives of yours. I'm wishing you nothing but the most fan freaking fantastic of times coming your way. And hopefully in exchange, you can wish me the most fan freaking fantastic of dinosaur slaying. Because for now, we are still limited to the second floor, but we can see some strange things going down in the lower floors as well. And I am intrigued and I cannot wait Wait to see what the future updates have in store for us over here in Jurassic Survival. But in the meantime, we're going to continue clearing out. Oh, let's go. That new steel resource. Uh, boom. I'll be taking you home. Thank you very kindly. I'll probably, I'll, I'll pick up the tape for now, but odds are we'll find something more valuable that I'm going to want to fill out my inventory with. We also are rocking our freaking battle X over here because with the help of sneak attacks, now that I am not a stinky boy, I took a shower right before this video. Are you proud of me yet, Ma? Are you proud? I'm a nice squeaky clean boy. And well, as a result of this, I am a master of the stealth arts and all dinosaurs will tremble. Well, they won't even tremble because they won't know what's happening. They'll just die spontaneously. Like this fella over here. I'm not sure if he's going to turn around or okay. He's going to go back on patrol that way. All right, Crikey. Well, here we got the bloody Hulk. Look at him. Ah, oh, Hulk smash that freaking mutated. Like these are literally yay, soldier. Ow, dinosaur mutations. Dinosaurs obviously being like the main antagonist of this game. Although by the looks of it, 
whatever these things are might actually be a new antagonist to kind of come in our way. You know, whatever's going on here with this strange experimentation. Let's try to take this dude out with one fell swoop of the sledgehammer. Because that sneak attack always comes in handy. I don't think this guy is sneak attackable. I think this has happened a couple of times. So, yeah, yeah. Let me just take you out with a toppled over desk chair as cover. The best cover. And, oh, baby. Yeah, we are literally two of those freaking floppies away from looking good. Hopefully, we can find some more mixtapes and uh, hard drives filled with all the Bitcoins. That's why these are so valuable, bros. Let me just say, if the dinosaur apocalypse was not going on, we would be Bitcoin billionaires. Oh, dude, that's a catchy title. Bitcoin billionaire? Can anyone donate me a couple billion Bitcoin so I can be a Bitcoin billionaire? Because that would be a pretty cool title. Ah! I am really disappointed in what I'm seeing over here. Star, what are you talking about? Well... Usually, we get some sort of an awesome gun, because this is like a gun rack. Literally, you can see shotgun shells, ammunitions, all that type of jazz, but not today. For the first time in clearing Laboratory Alpha, we are disappointed by the contents of that, and that makes me the big sad. I don't like being the big sad, but today... Oh, I'm big sad! How did you notice me? Dude, hold on. He's gonna freaking, like, spit on us. Never mind. He doesn't spit, so I'll try to take you out with my battle axe. I'm trying not to use this battle axe too much, though, besides for sneak attacks, because, like, the fact that we can do 180 damage with sneak attack is just such a powerful tool if i can't sneak attack how did you people notice me are you kidding me die okay this mutant at least is a little bit on the slower side we can take him out in one fell swoop like for reals how did i okay well we're up to 20 on that so that's good to go oh guy in the hallway look at that radar yeah top right hand corner we almost got the jump on us no 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 not today but uh we're not going to be able to get the jump on these dudes, unfortunately, so come on out to play. That's not who I'm trying to shoot. Come on out. This guy. This guy right there. Come on out to play, compadres. You must die, and I must loot your loot and continue collecting some of these. I think we're going to be able to pop open another one of these ration coupons at this rate, man. Things are definitely looking pretty decent out of odds, to say the least. Let's see what we got over here in these lockers. And okay, okay, we got the Band-Aids, baby. Love to see that Band-Aid supply increasing. I think we might be able to. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, we should be able to get some sneak attacks off on these dudes. That guy has 160 health, so a sneak attack with the Battle X will be our best course of action that guy is 120 so the 45 damage of the skull crusher times three leads to us doing 135 damage per sneak attack way better than yeet, wasting one of those battle axe sneak attacks since those do 180 damage dude like talk about powerful especially when we're dealing with freaking mutated the, the dinosaurs bro all right let's see what we got over here in what appears to be the freaking laundry room can we get some tide pods tide pods baby we got paints. Okay, I don't know how these people are doing their laundry, but I am suspicious to say the least. Rope and paint. Hmm, maybe there's a dye in their laundry, different colors. Who knows? Oh, what up, Hulk? Yo, yo, let's hit you with a little bit of that battle axe wax. Ex except it's not really wax. It, it's a wax sculpture. I am a wax sculpture. Haha. -ha. How's it feel to be defeated by a wax sculpture of me? Probably not good. Hello, dead guy on toilet. How you doing? Can I have your clothes? Because from what I've noticed, this fella tends to have clothes. Hey, all the clothes you could ask for, including the long sought after pantalones. Can I send those over to last day on earth? Because like, I've really got to increase my pantalones supply. It is kind of in uh, not the best shape. So all right, Crikey, here we go, lads. We're going to be a uh, little, little, little bit cheeky right here around the corner. We got the thug. Another mutated dinosaur of some sort, albeit this fella appears to be a little bit on the stronger side, but not strong enough to withstand Zax! Okay, well, he can withstand it, but once we sprinkle in a little bit of the Kalashnikov 47, he will be surviving no longer! Okay, I missed a lot of bullets over there since there is a recoil system in this game now, which is another one of the big things added within this update, which is just so exciting to see that, dude, I love the fact that it's getting updates again. I'm so excited to see what else is going to be coming with Within the future of the game because they, there's just a lot of big 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 potential okay i don't think we can sneak attack these dudes i think we got to go guns a blazing so let's go in what's up no not you what's up scavenger number one and oh we got the hulk hulk smash yeah hulk smash okay and uh, why don't we go and whip out a little bit of our fan favorites shotgun rain some stay dry the hulk will feel the pain shotgun rain dude i love this thing because like you can literally just turn and burn on them like it's nothing, so yeah, yeet! Let's send them flying with 
Woo! The power of shotgun and grab that mixtape CD off him. I can't wait to listen to your music, brother. Except I think I'm going to be trading in all these mixtapes. I guess like, I don't know. I guess mutated dinosaurs just make for the best uh, uh, DJs. Because apparently that guy up top, freaking Dr. Freeman or whatever, who belongs in the Half-Life universe, don't know what he's doing over here in the Jurassic Survival universe. He is asking us for, ooh, piece of candy. No, not candy. Although, unless this is technically candy. Maybe it is. I haven't tried eating it yet. But, uh... He's asking us for those, so maybe he wants to get a taste of what the dinosaurs are listening to. Only logical conclusion I could come up with. Let's go and yeah, no, okay, yeah, wow, these dudes are just, okay, let's go ahead and shotgun rain these guys a little bit, yeah. I just want to stay away from the predator because this guy is capable of spitting at us, and I do not like being spit on. I, I can't think of anyone who really does. It's not exactly a cool thing to do, and let's go and boop number one. Oop, number two, I wish they would drop more of their mixtape CDs, man, but they're just, uh, they're keeping those mixtapes close to the chest, man. Maybe not every one of these mutated dinosaurs is an expiring rap artist, you know, trying to hustle their out on the streets, but man, you know, I, I, I'm just trying to support you guys, okay? Like, that's why I'm killing you and forcibly taking your mixtapes. I'm literally just yanking them out of your hands. I'm gonna give them over to uh, our uh, residential uh, recording uh, label artist, label guy, the guy who does the music stuff. You know what I mean. Okay. And let's see if maybe this lad over here has dropped some hot bars. What's up, Hulk? You been dropping any Fuego lately? Yeet! Let's find out because we got you just under halfway done. So whip out a little bit of that shotgun rain and do those good old fashioned turn and burn tactics where you run, you shoot, you run a little more and you kill the ginormous die. Dinosaur. Did I loot this a uh, little? Okay, I did. I thought I did. I just wanted to double check. I never want to be the doofus that accidentally forgets stuff because forgetting stuff is no bueno. All right, let's. Sorry about the burp there. Get this battle axe back into play. Marvelous. This is a way to have a clue what will hit him because we're going to do 180 damage right on the dot. And check out this massage chair that he was hoarding. Ain't these cute pictures of kittens? Wow. Your massage chair sucks. Can I get a refund for this? Where did you get this from? Okay. Was this a dollar store massage chair? Because if so, that would explain why your massage chair literally only consisted of one transistor. I expected better things out of you. Like mixtape CDs. Can I, can I get those? Does the, is the massage chair about to drop some hot bars or something like that? The world may never know. All that it had was one transistor for a poor lad like me. And all right, let's get the couple of more shotgun shells off into the thug. See you later. Woo! Mixtape alligator. He's more of a rhinoceros, but for, for the sake of the rhymes, he, he's, he's an alligator. Rhino a gator. Yes, that's what he is. I don't think we're at him. Maybe we can sneak attack up on the scavenger. I kind of doubt it. I think he's gonna. Yeah, yeah, he noticed us. He noticed us. I'm so sorry for disturbing you. Okay, you were just trying to be the lunch lady, serving all the dinosaurs' food. I'm so sorry I got between you and this sacred line of work. But, uh, ooh, thank you for the uh, floppy disks. Floppy, floppy. Man, I wish it was this easy to find freaking floppiness over the last day on Earth, dude. If I could have a nice stockpile of 30 of them. Oh, baby, Bunker Bravo would not know what would be coming. All right, though, we got two storages over here that always have high hopes for me. And those hopes are slapped in the face with an inflatable glove. That's right. We're not even slapped by a hand. We don't deserve that dignity. We got slapped by a freaking inflatable glove, dude. That feels bad, bro. Feels bad. Okay, we got some water. That feels slightly less worse. Yeah, that's all I got. Okay. And this fella, oh, there might to be a sneak attack in our future. I don't know. I will equip the M16 and I will try and... Oh, that's what I'm talking about. He likes to spit. No. Oh my God. Back to back. Looking like Drake, brother. What you doing? What's, what valuables are you protecting back here where you would dare spit at me twice like that, huh? Huh? Is it the, is it the booze? Oh, if they, these dinosaurs, no wonder they're so rowdy down here. Their booze supplies off the charts. All right, what do we got up in here? We got, eh, I'll go ahead and um, num, 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 a little bit of that food because the food heals me. The food makes me feel good. And we're about, I'd say a little bit over halfway done with this floor as of right now. We might maybe be able to, oh, let's blot he go, lads. You'll love to say it. We should be able to take out this. Uh, this guy we might want to use the battle axe on. Yeah, yeet. 
And then can we get all sneaky deaky like yes sir on this predator right over there dude it feels good being able to do this the sneaky way because we can save so many resources and just be so efficient with like our battle axes and the weapons that we're using like we've used maybe a third of this battle axe over here and oh shiny it's done a majority of the work and i will be leaving behind this rope i am so sorry rope you were great rope the best rope i've ever handled with my own two eyes i mean hand on two hands on two hands you were quality rope to say the least but I'm sorry, you know, I got freaking this asteroid over here, the bauxite that I gotta grab. All right, let's have the M416 ready to go. Let's get sneaky deaky like, and I think that we might, okay, okay, okay. We might be able to get real sneaky deaky here. Can I take out this mutant before that other feller notices? That's what I am interested in, y'all. Yeet! Oh, he didn't just see his friend die in front of his own two eyes. Dude, do these dinosaurs have the brains the size of peanuts? Because actually, dude, I don't know. A peanut might be too big for how big of a doofus these lads are. That man literally just saw his best buddy. These two were freaking, they were putting together a business plan that they were going to pitch to the freaking boss of this floor. They're going to be like, listen, I got a great idea. It's called Silly Bands. And they, you know, they, they were putting it together. You can see the clipboard. And all of that, they had the speaking podium. These guys were freaking like, uh, like two peas in a pod. And unfortunately, I, I'm the freaking pea pod murderer. I, yeah, that, that's not exactly the coolest. Woo, Mix City. Yeah, I gotta come up with a cooler serial killer name because uh, the pea pod murderer. I sound like a freaking off-brand like. Some kind of like off brand. I don't even know. Sesame Street character. <laughs> Sesame Street character gone road. The peapod killer. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's go and equip the M416. And let's put some bullets into these scavengers. You do not mess with the peapod killer, aka the Mango Man. Star, who's the Mango Man? Well, like I said, catch up with the Jurassic Survival series because uh, this, this has been going on for a while and I am the Mango Man. I don't even know if they have mangoes in this game anymore, though. I haven't seen a mango in a hot minute. They do have pineapples. I don't know about the mangoes. Regardless, you know how it goes. Okay, so we're about to be entering this last section. Oh, don't spit on me. You are going to make me smelly. I showered, dude. I take great pride in this, and you take great pride in making me unshower. And okay, here we got the big boss man of the floor himself. We got a couple other little side rooms we got to clear out, and we're doing pretty good here on CDs. We only need two more of those to unlock what there could be. We haven't gotten a single freaking hard drive of Bitcoin, so my Bitcoin billionaire dreams are freaking diminishing right in front of my eyes. But... Uh, I think this fella tends to drop one of them. Although I will take a mixtape CD as well. This is the biggest abomination of them all. This man, I'm kind of jealous, has alligator arms. Look at him. Actually, I think one's like a, that's a freaking mini T-Rex arm. That's like a Spinosaur arm. Never mind. Oh my God, dude, the Camara is insane. And I, that's why I'm excited, dude. They have such creativity with some of these freaking enemies that they're making. The future updates of this game have me really excited for what's in store. Let's blow through the rest of our shotgun rain on this Camaro over here because he's pretty easy to outpace. I do not expect my shotgun to be able to kill him. It's probably going to break, as you guys can see from our durability in the bottom right-hand corner. But that'll clear our low clear up a little bit of inventory room for more loot and we'll finish the job with a good old fashioned M416 on this Camara right over here yeah though dude talk about spooky oh we're almost up to level 70 woo bitcoins yeah talk about spooky man we are uh, moving up in the world here but rip oh my god I think I'm tearing up a little bit <laughs> level 69 we will not be any longer. I think the next enemy that we kill, no longer will we be able to say, nice. And it makes sense. <laughs> Feels bad, brother. It was fun while it lasted. It was a great chapter in our Jurassic survival journey, but unfortunately, ooh, it's a chapter that had to end. All right, let's get a couple more hits on the scavenger. I don't feel like switching to my M416. I feel like striking him down with my own two hands, holding an X. Yes. Oh, yo, Thug, you got a mixtape CD? Okay, listen, I, listen, I know there's a fellow called Young Thug. Maybe this is his elder. Maybe this is his dad. What's up, Thug? How you doing? You got that mixtape CD? I'm looking to... I just want to open up a crate, dude. I don't know what the guy up top's going to do with all these mixtapes, but I don't ask questions. I just open crates. And... Yeet. Woo! 
Oh. Well, it's nice to level up, but it's not nice to not be level 69 anymore. <laughs> Whatever. Let's see what we got in this table. Let's clear out the rest. Wow, nothing. That was the saddest table I've ever seen. Feels bad. But let's see what the rest of this floor has in store. And oh, nice, nice, nice. We should be able to get some easy sneak attack kills over here. Yeah, gate number one. We go to a predator over this way, which is perfectly suited for our battle axe. Yeah, gate number two. And who's this last lad over here? The Hulk. All right, buddy, listen. I know you were meant to be a movie star, but not today, Mr. Hulk, and a comic book star. Not today. Today you are the star of Doom. Drop anything. Man, what is it with you guys having floppy disks? Did you guys steal these from Last Day on Earth? Is that why it's so hard? Whoa, mixtape. Is that why it's so hard to find the dang things in Last Day on Earth? Huh? Huh? I have so many questions, you mutated soldiers into dinosaurs. Okay, I am very suspicious of many things that you do, to say the least. All right, table number two of these freaking scientific laboratory looking places. We are honestly, though, building up a nice little stockpile of, uh, whatchamacallit, band-aids from this. Like, we don't really use too many. We're clearing this out in a relatively efficient way with a lot of our stockpiled loot, which is to good. Okay, we might be able to take out this mutant before his buddy notices us. We've seen that these dinosaurs are not the brightest in the world. Ha <laughs> you doofus. And I'm trying to think what's the best way of doing this. I think if we go after this guy, yes, we should be able to get a sneak attack off on him. Let's get a little bit of separation. We'll whip the M416 back out to play. Put some bullets to the face, to the face. And night, no, nice, 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 nice. Oh, no mixtape, not nice. We're only one away though. I got, I fully, I don't want to jinx it, but I got high hopes that we'll get at least one from today's run. But yeah, we should now be able to clear out the rest of this with sneak attacks. I was worried that I might like alert all of them and dude, bless up. Cause the last time that we did this, I was accidentally smelly. Let me just say, man, the ability to do all these sneak attacks is just, it's incredible. Like seriously, 10 out of 10 would shower again, man. This could teach me a lesson over in Last Day on Earth, you dig? Boop. Let's take out that mutant over there and let's take out the predator over here. Dude, melee weapons, man. They are incredible. We haven't had to use much besides them. Like maybe a couple of guns here or there, right? But for the most part, dude, we've been saving things up rather nicely. And we are still that one fabled CD away from fame, fortune, and mainly crates. Although freaking Dr. Freeman up there might have fame and fortune coming his way. You know, who knows what types of bars they're spitting on these mixtapes. And or what awesome songs they're putting together for their bays. You know? You never know. Ooh, shiny. Solution. I think we got some of those back at home, but I'll grab it for now. Don't mind me just freaking looting up these vats with like what appear to be experimental like dinosaurs growing inside of them. Like, eh, icky vicky, bro. Icky vicky. Okay, we can actually stack that and bring that over. We've got one last chest over here, and then we're down to like probably three more rooms that we gotta clear before this floor is done. So, and dude, I'm still just looking forward to those next floors coming our way because there's no way that this is gonna be the only floor that Laboratory Alpha has, especially given the way that we have seen these types of things work in the past, man. It's just built to have more than this, you know? And especially with the fact that we literally saw that little teaser of the below floor, like at the beginning of this floor. I don't know, man. I'm excited, especially because we might be facing tougher bosses and tougher enemies down there, too. Like, with the freaking abomination of a chimera that we saw here. Like, I don't know, man. Things are looking pretty cool. And we, dude, we might be able to open up two of these freaking floppy disk crates, man. Talk about nice. No! Yes. He's out. Like a light. And okay. So we got a thug, I think, in that room over there protecting some good loot. That final room, by the way, does have some pretty good loot for us to pop into. So I'm looking forward to that. But for now, I'm just looking forward to this loot. And yeah, there we go. We got about like three, four rooms left before we're nice and donezo with things. You'll love to see it lots. You'll bloody love to see it. Oh, we do have this little like supply closet over here. I think it has like one chest that we could loot up. I think this is actually like, I've gotten some decently decent stuff from this before. Yeah, no, okay, not today, just a little bit of rope. And nice prime time for the sledgehammer to shine. What's up, mutant? Why are you staring at that pile of dead bodies, weirdo? Let's take you out. And all right, let's try and get all sneaky deaky like with the rest of them fellers. 
Okay, and I think we might want to take out this mutant over here, and then we'll sneak by and take out the last fella with the help of this battle axe. Dude, seriously, this floor, like, you can do things really stealthfully. And if you got the right weaponry between the battle axe and sledgehammer, both of which you can get from, like, the airdrop events in the overworld map, like, it puts you in a pretty decent position to succeed. Oh, no! I thought I was sneaking! Okay, that's a little bit of a bummer there. That's a summer bummer. Especially because it's not even summer anymore. That's the bummiest part of it all, man. <laughs> I'm being swamped by the cold out here in freaking Illinois, dude. It's nice and frisky. Oh, you didn't drop a CD. Are you seriously about to be one CD short of greatness? Can one of y'all please drop that mixtape, dudes? Please, just one, one mixtape, man. One mixtape. Is that so much to ask? Apparently... They're just not about dropping the mixtapes today. I think there's like two zombies left for it. Not two zombies, two dinosaurs. There are no zombies in this game. There's never a zombie virus plaguing. Ooh, nice, Teak Log. There was never a zombie virus plaguing these lands. Instead, there's this weird dinosaur infestation and the scientists are doing some interesting stuff over here with the military and turning the soldiers into, well, piles of dead bodies, but also even freaky deakier stuff than that. And all right, let's activate the escape hatch for us to escape our way through this floor and let's activate a little bit of disappointment because like unless salvation awaits they okay this is a hulk this is the type of enemy that has dropped the cds before and there's one more enemy after that so maybe things will go okay please don't turn around mr hulk please 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 Woo! love to see it love to see it love to see it let's get a little bit of separation let's grab the m416 and let's put the finishing blows into him <laughs> from the safety and oh we didn't drop anything it's up to you last dinosaur man uh can i even i, I can't sneak attack that fellow let me just try to put a, a couple finishing blows in with this way and i'm gonna punch you to death enter me in fisticuffs ah my fisticuffs did not impress him enough to get us a mixtape well unfortunately no mixtape for us but we do have a floppy disk crate that we are going to be able to pop open so at the very least we got that rolling for us and there we have another level of laboratory alpha cleared out and dude it is really hard to get that third crate with the freaking bitcoin hard drives man it is uh, it's a tough cookie man it's not like a freaking almond cookie or something delicious like that no this is like a freaking five-year-old stale cookie when i say tough all right this is a tough cookie it belongs to the freaking salty spittoon or whatever it is that you had to eat nails to get into man like uh, without any milk too okay these are not games but mr freeman i have for you some stuff i will come back with your bitch coins and i will come back with your mixtapes but for now i got these floppy disks baby show me what you got it better be something good otherwise i am going to be very very disappointed in you and without further ado no way me 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 no okay 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 let's take everything that we can stack up all the stuff that we can we got some clothes over here we do have this wire that i'm gonna grab because i haven't i don't really have too much of that building up and definitely gonna be copping that ump 45 because well I like guns, lads. Guns are pretty nifty to say the least. Let's go ahead and um num 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 on some of them canned foods. And we are looking uh, good. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, yay, yay, yay. We got another slot today. Uh, what am I gonna grab? Baseball bat? Nah. Eh, why don't we grab the solution? The actually pantalones, what am I thinking? Always got to grab the pantalones. And without further ado, there we have Laboratory Alpha cleared out. And before we end things off, there's something very, very important that I wanted uh, to go over a little bit. Boom! And that's exactly what you boys and girls are seeing right here and right now. Actually, yesterday, the Jurassic Survival developers posted this. The first teaser we've gotten in a while with the caption, Knock Knock. This ain't no knock-knock joke, and if it is, I'm not abused, because what I am seeing over here appears to be some sort of an egg ready to hatch in what appears to be outside in the wild. I think that this is a teaser for the next update that we can expect out of Jurassic Survival, potentially the return of there actually used to be an event that was like a freaking T-Rex nest that we had to stealthfully infiltrate and steal an egg from while there were two absolutely uh, overpowered T-Rexes on patrol and if they caught a whiff of you trying to steal their babies 
Oh, they were not amused. No, 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 not today. But uh, potentially this is signaling some sort of a return towards that event. Or once we take into account the fact that it's cracked and we're hearing that knock, knock, potentially like a little thing, like maybe the baby inside of the egg is knocking on the shell, thus causing the cracks. This is going to be a couple of things. Number one, some sort of a new dinosaur that we're going to be able to see. Or the thing that I'm really, really hopeful for. The thing that I really, really want to see. The incubator enables you to grow a riding dinosaur. As you boys and girls can see from the image, this is something that you are going to need to place an egg inside of. A similar egg to what we are seeing over here in this image. It has like some of these like blobs. It's like blobbed spots all over the egg. And well, eventually, once we incubate this egg, it's gotta hatch. Could this be some sort of a teaser towards our first riding dinosaur because in case you guys and gals do not know this is kind of going to be like the chopper this is going to be like the first vehicle so to speak of jurassic survival that might enable us to travel to entirely new zones and have a companion dinosaur because it literally says enables you to grow a riding dinosaur the dinosaur will grow it'll hatch from the egg and then who knows what comes after that but this might very well be a teaser alluding towards that as well this might be the capability of growing our first dinosaur and potentially some sort of an event that will allow us to steal the egg that we are then able to raise because it looks like this egg is out in the wild so i'm kind of leaning towards this being some sort of a teaser for you know some sort of a new event that we're going to be able to go to and get this egg from and then when it comes to finishing up the incubator i could also see well we've had laboratory alpha added in over here and this is definitely especially with these different crates over here a prime opportunity for us to potentially get some of those like rare resources we might need to finish up the incubator similar to how the chopper requires some rare resources over in the last downer so Jurassic survival is really shaping up to be really cool and this teaser has me so freaking excited for what this next update is going to bringing in store for all of us wonderful boys and girls but with that said and with that done that is going to start wrapping it up for me and this episode of Jurassic survival for now when we return laboratory alpha will be respawned we are definitely going to be able to get that second crate and we will continue inching our way towards the third crate as well but in the meantime at least we got to pop open a floppy disk crate today and get this incredible look at what appears to be a teaser towards the next update what appears to be something out in the wild potentially some sort of an event and potentially the next step in building the incubator and growing our first dinosaur that will be able to ride our trusty steed our marvelous companion that i will name steven steven the dinosaur that's gonna start wrapping it up for me for now thank you guys for holding for watching have yourselves an awesome one and i'll talk to you in the next one see you